world famous DJ and race car driver, Jimmy Golding. Uh, we're going to talk a bit today about driver coaching and probably at the elite level. So I consider Jimmy an elite level driver and we've been working together for about four months now and refining a few things. So probably just get your first experience when we first did our first session and where we've got to now. We can sort of give us your idea of that, mate. Yeah, um, obviously didn't really know what to expect coming here. Obviously a lot of drivers have been through here and seen the benefits from it. So yeah, to come here was a pretty cool experience and obviously learn from you and Nash and even Shane today was pretty cool. So um, That's, That was pretty good having Shane here, really. Yeah, yeah pretty lucky. Um, just, just got him here before he went to the US, which yeah. is cool. But yeah, it's, it's more just overlooking from the outside, as you said, uh, when I first come in, you know, it's not necessarily about teaching people how to drive. Like a lot of us know how to drive from growing up, learning it and all that, but it's overlooking everything from the outside and trying to maximise every little thing that you might not notice you're doing, um, driving around the track. And it might not be the same thing every day. Like I've come here, uh, I think three or four times now, and each time I've learned something new. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's. Those little things and also critiquing yourself more, I've found as well. Self-analytical. That's right, yeah. yeah. So maybe previously I've had a slide or something like that and then thought about it and tried to avoid it the next lap, but I haven't actually critiqued what it was that led to that and then made sure I didn't do it the next lap as well. And also even just really little things, like you might have little moments, whereas before I wouldn't really think about it, I'd just keep driving, but I'm just really critical of every little thing. Now I've found as yeah, well. yeah, I think that's a pretty good summary. So, you know, if someone comes along at Jimmy's level, it's not about turning them into me or, or you must drive like this. It's just helping them because everyone's different, everyone drives a little bit different, but it's helping him maximize his performance um, and just eliminating the errors. And if something goes wrong, working out why and then making a plan to fix it. So, yeah, uh, pretty good summary, mate. Yeah. And, Obviously, you know, when I looked at your results to start away, I think your performance lifted when you got got back in the race car. Yeah, no, I've, I've found a definite improvement. Like, um, there's still areas I want to get better at, but yeah, a lot of it, particularly in qualifying, and just really maximising that one lap to make sure everyone gets right, um, it's been awesome. So yeah, thanks for your help. And no, no worries, mate. And and for me. Uh, when I get to see really good drivers, I just um, I get to see everyone, right? So Shane's here today, or, you know, Brody Kostecki, Jimmy. I get to sit with all those guys. So they all drive a little bit different and and do things a bit their way. But that's what makes driving cool. You know, we're not we're not creating robots. We're creating people that want to put their little spin on how they maximise maximize the car. And um, you can see that. You can see that in Gen Three of how everyone drives a little bit different. So. Cool thing to watch. I'm lucky I get to do it. Have a good Christmas. Yeah. <laughs>